I will show you how I made this X handle and the process it takes. First, I take the measurements of the eye. I write them down and using the Aspire software, I do the modeling of the handle. You can import various 3D objects or STL format or other formats into your project and you can model them with your project. Here is a bear that I've created and I've been using in a couple of my other projects. I will adjust it on the handle and position it in the, in the location where I want it to be. And I will do the rails to create the model of the handle. Using the sculpting function of the Aspire software, I will smooth out some of the areas. I would like to have the bear recessed into the handle a little bit so it doesn't stick out too much. Once I'm happy with the handle, the appearance, the size, I will double check and I will export as STL file. To create G-code for CNC machine to cut out the handle, I'm using Desk Proto software, really nice software too. I import the STL file and I create different runs for cutting out the material. First I do the rough cutting, then I do the finishing cutting, and the areas like the bear where you need to utilize a very fine bit, uh, that's my detailed area, that's going to be my third run on the CNC machine. Time to head out to my garage and pick the wood stock. I'm using black locust, which is acacia, excellent wood. Uh, I prepare for the CNC machine cut to uh, size and perfect grain format on this one. I will put it into the CNC machine, fourth axis, rotary axis. Using Mach 3 software, I load the G code to do my first cutting, rough cutting. Zero out my X, Y, Z and my rotary axis, fourth axis. Make sure double check uh, all the parameters, make sure everything is set and ready to go.
will speed up the video a little bit so you don't have to wait. So here it is, the rough cutting is done. I'm ready for the finishing cut using my quarter inch bit. Once the finishing cut is done, I installed a very uh, small bit, 1 seconds of an inch, and it took a while to cut out the bear, but after I think like four hours, that part was done. And here is how this handle looked like after the CNC machine completed. The next steps would be finishing using sandpaper all the uh, marks that CNC created. I would finish up using different grids until it's nice and smooth. After first sanding is completed I like to wet the handle in water and dry it off and then sand it again this process makes the handle extremely smooth and soft uh, to the feel You can see it here after wetting and drying the handle that more sanding is need to be done. Okay, I think it turned out pretty good. I think I will finish sanding and leave it at this step. Check it out. Looks pretty nice and smooth and I'm ready for the next process. So stay tuned, subscribe to me on my channel and you will see the rest of the process including engraving on this X.